You could never dream this. Sharon Clark was the founder of Sharon's Kids, who are an incredible donator of our hamper program that we run every year. We were trying to figure out how many families she's helped in total, and it's almost impossible to, to figure that out, going back 52 years. But it's easily a 1,000 families that have received hampers through Sharon's Kids. So Sharon came into my life when I was a kid living in a group home, and uh, she was there to give me a bike. She actually came out herself, which is one of the great things about Sharon is that she took such a personal interest. You know, it was, um, it was difficult when she passed, you know. It was uh, a very wonderful woman. I could only live up to her. The magic that came from it and how much it was able to grow, it's, it's amazing. I'm actually uh, really excited to get uh, us going really early on the Holiday Hope program this year, which is why we put together this call. We would like to donate two Corvettes to the Children's Aid Foundation to auction off on behalf of Sharon Clark. I'm speechless. <laughs> Sharon's uh, organization is very personal to me. I, I had a chance to meet Sharon um, a few years ago and, and understand what she really put into this charity. Beyond that, I got to know what our Canadian employees had put into this charity since 68 uh, when she started it. I wanted to, wanted to do something very special this year in honor of, of Sharon. I think we're making a difference in people's lives by helping to bring financial resources together to enrich the lives of kids and use in Durham. So this is just above and beyond anything we ever could have imagined. Like never crossed our minds that they would do something like this. That's incredible. Sharon would be overwhelmed. Just floored. And Sharon would be so thrilled. Sharon was an inspiration to everyone who met her. I mean, today, if you talk to a General Motors employee, they would know who Sharon was and they would know Sharon's kids. It's great to see that GM is devoted to continuing that legacy and, and continuing to, to support the work that we do. I think Sharon's legacy will to, to think of others before yourself, to give back to the community and the less fortunate and, and, and don't turn a blind eye. You know, when you see somebody struggling, you know, give them help when you can. Uh, when you're a Crown Ward, when you're in group homes and foster homes, things like that, it's like, you're taken care of. Uh, you're given everything you need. You're given food, you're given clothes, uh, all that stuff. But getting a nice bike or, you know, those are extras. Those are things you don't necessarily get. Not just the material that you're getting. Uh, oh, it's cool that I got a nice new bike that I wouldn't have gotten otherwise. But also, I mean, the psychological aspect that comes with that too, of like a kid knowing that somebody's out there that actually cares, that, you know, wants them to have these things, to have a, a normal childhood. There's a certain mentality that you're worth more that comes with that. Just being able to continue this um, program on behalf of Sharon um, helps not only continue her memory, but it is something that our community needs and it, it has to be carried on. There are people in need out there and if you can give, then you should give.